Hey guys, this is Adam from Mayhem Ops. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Trilogy Tactical ACOG replica. This is a nice ACOG replica. I use it on my King Arms Magpul M4 and it looks great and it performs great for $60. You can get it for that price on most airsoft retail sites and it's uh, pretty cheap compared to other ACOG replicas. It's uh, 1x32 and it just has a red and green dot reticle. It's got a couple different brightness settings. Um, there's low brightness and then high for each color. But uh, like I said, no zoom. It's just a red dot, but it looks like an ACOG. It has the sweet, slick, um, you know, just overall look on your M4 or on any gun. It really looks good on any gun. That's why I like ACOGs, especially on M4s, because the way that these are made or built, it looks like they're melting up out of the M4 and into this scope here. But um, I'm kind of getting off topic here, but Trilogy Tactical ACOG replica. Uh, back to that. It's got uh, some iron sights up here on the top, just like any other ACOG, except this one is off to the side a little bit, so it does throw off your sighting, but it's just an airsoft gun, so it's not going to be that accurate in the first place. But just in case your batteries do die, you can always look down these sights and um, as backups. Now let's put this thing on the scale and see how much it weighs. Alright, it's zeroed out. The ACOG weighs exactly 13 ounces. That's only uh, 3 ounces away from a pound, so as you can see, it is a pretty hefty uh, optic. It's also got this nice rubbery coating on it, like a uh, thin layer of rubber has been painted on the, the uh, ACOG, and it feels really nice and it cuts down on any glare or reflection coming on it from uh, lights or sunlight, so that way it uh, looks higher quality on the gun and it's got a nice um, finish to it with the rubber coating. It's got the uh, standard visor on here to keep out, you know, sunlight and keep it from reflecting on the glass. And then the lens is also tinted for the same reason, to keep uh, any glare down from the sun when you're playing outdoors. Mounting this ACOG on your gun is really easy and you don't need any tools to do it. All you gotta do is loosen up these knobs with your finger and then uh, put it on your rail right where you want it. Get it situated, then tighten these down. And there you go. It's ready to rock. This top cap here, if you unscrew it, you've got your elevation adjustments. And then this cap on the side here, if you unscrew it, uh, yeah, there you go. You got your windage adjustments. You can adjust these with a uh, coin or flathead screwdriver to get their sight zeroed in on your rifle. And then the batteries for the red dot go down in this cap right here. It takes three button cell batteries. They're L754s. And they're really cheap. I mean, you can find those on eBay for like 10 for a buck free shipping from China. And I recommend picking up some extras because these things do get burned through pretty fast. They're not a big battery. This ACOG doesn't use much juice in the first place, but if you have it on for long periods of time in the game, then um, you're going to want to have some extras. Like I said, L754s, it takes three at a time. You can get them pretty cheap on eBay. Just go and uh, check that out. Um, all these caps are gasketed with O-rings, so it is water resistant. If you're playing in the rain, don't worry about uh, your ACOG being damaged or your ACOG breaking because of that, because it'll be okay. But I wouldn't recommend uh, playing at the bottom of the ocean with this thing. This is a nice ACOG replica. It's only 60 bucks, which is relatively cheap compared to other replicas, which are about 100 or more. And it works great, it looks great, and it feels great on the gun. It gives it a really nice look. It looks uh, super cool, super tactical. And um, the scope itself functions great. I've never had any problems with it. I've been using it for a while. Uh, it's very durable. I've dropped it on the ground. I've, you know, played with it a lot. And it's uh, hung in there. So I'd recommend this uh, ACOG replica to anybody that's looking for, you know, obviously an ACOG. But if you're on the market for one of those, you're looking out for one, this is uh, definitely one that I recommend. You know, it's not that expensive. It works great. And it's within most people's budgets. This has been a Mayhem Ops video review by Adam. Thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later.